For a coastal city with shopping, dining, golf, entertainment, and more, the Myrtle Beach area still has some of the most affordable oceanfront condos in the country. In fact, Realtor.com just named Myrtle Beach as number four on the list of the top 10 towns in America where you can still buy an affordable vacation home. And the Myrtle Beach area has many options for wonderful primary, secondary, and investment properties. And one of the most popular options for a vacation home is in one of our many oceanfront condo buildings. However, you need to know these 10 things before you purchase a condo on the oceanfront. In today's video, we will go through our list of the top 10 things you need to know before purchasing an oceanfront condo. In following videos, we'll go through each of these in depth for you. So if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our great weekly videos. Let's start the countdown with the number one thing you need to know is whether or not the condo building is considered a condo tell. If so, there are things you need to be aware of before making an offer check out our video that explains what a condo hotel is and what you need to know when purchasing in one. Number two on our list is something that's a huge discussion point with our buyers, HOA fees. You need to know that the HOA fee amount is not the only thing you should be looking at. There's so much more that goes into the HOA fees that you need to be aware of in order to compare apples to apples. High HOA? There might be a good reason, so don't count out that condo just yet. Along the lines of HOA fees is our number three thing that you need to know about, special assessments. This is something that is not included in the HOA fees that you see online and can be regular, such as a separate insurance assessment or a specific time period of payments that go towards, for example, installing a new elevator. Number four on the countdown is the Vacation Rental Act. You need to know if the property you're looking to purchase falls under this and how it will affect your plans for after closing. A fifth thing you should be aware of is what is allowed by the HOA. Are you allowed to have a pet there? What about renters? What about a motorcycle or golf cart? Not all buildings will allow these things. So if that is important to you, you should find out before making an offer. Planning to live in the condo? Our sixth thing you need to know is whether or not the building allows this. Also, do they allow short and long-term rentals? Believe it or not, each building could have specific rules about the rentals and primary residences. And in fact, even some buildings have specific floors that have different rules about this than others. So it's important for you to know what the building you're purchasing in allows. Number seven is about those great amenities that attract so many tourists, such as the lazy rivers, water parks, game rooms, tiki bars, and more. Did you know that in many buildings, these are owned by the front desk management company, not the HOA? So if you don't rent through them, you can't use them. You can see why this is important for you to know. And speaking of a front desk management company, the eighth thing that you need to know is if there is one, what do they provide and how much do they charge? Does it make sense to use them or to use a local rental company or something else like Airbnb or VRBO? Are they gonna make it difficult for you if you don't rent through them? The ninth thing you should find out is how the parking for the building is handled. Is it a parking garage or a lot? Is it attached to the building, across the street, or even a block or two away? How many passes does each size unit get? Wrapping our countdown is the 10th thing you need to know, what HO6 insurance is. This will be required for you to carry by most HOAs and rental companies and mortgage companies. So you should be aware of this and the cost associated with it. We hope this countdown helps you ask the right questions when looking to purchase an oceanfront condo here in the Myrtle Beach area. And as a reminder, we have been or will be posting videos on each of these items in great detail. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. And let us know if you have any suggestions on topics you would like to see us cover in the future. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to the bell button. Happy, Happy condo, condo hunting. hunting.